Today we learn about email. It was a table of the emails will commerce consent. We'll come back to these shortly. We first need to cover the general email settings further down. Kicking things off with the email sender option section, you can set the front thing and from address. These are important, it's what your customers see and in their inbox. For example, with these settings, which are that they've received an email from WooCommerce videos from the videos and whatcommerce.com. Next under email template, we can customize how your emails look. You can enter it URL for edit image. We ended up with 100 media and news and copies. Basically the header image. You can also customize the text and the footer text field. This appears at the bottom of every email sent. You can then choose the base color, Botoom color, email body background color, in the email, body text. You can see how your choices look at any time. Your external template, Lincoln. Just a quick note. And she wants to do further. Flex dispositions, dozen emails. It's best to copy that email templates into your theme. Out of the way to like see changes and we can move on let's head back to the top of the email since like i mentioned these are the individual emails will commerce consent for the most part gino has the same fields you can enable or disable each one so that the recipient as subject fields and from here you can also quickly see the content type as well as the recipient and the emails that say customer I mean these emails are sent to the customer. Let's take a peek at once you can get familiar with. To add it to an email settings either select the email title for the gear icon, to the right. I mean here, you can start button. And work asleep when they email for me though, with the new order. Let's assume the majority of store owners. We see this when they get a new order. 
you can then choose the email address or addresses to send this email to. In the recipients field, if you add more than one email address, sure you separate them by commas. Next up, the subject field is what your SIPI and see in their inbox. The default shows the site title, the new customer ordering with the order number. At the end of the subject, you can set this to any texts and information your heart desires. The email. How do you feel? Of course. Much like the subject, but it's probably not seen by customers. And email and aggregate things, more technical information that isn't necessarily important for this video. Our last study, email type. But you choose what format to send your email last. The options being plaintiffs, HTML, were multi part. We'll leave it set to the default HTML. So we get our logo, styles, and colors. Finally, you'll notice a couple of options under the email type options. You can easily copy over. It's just that, you know, simply, it's your theme to do more complex customizations and the studies offer. If you've already copied the entire WhoCommerce slash templates slash emails folder into your theme, you'd see a delete template file button instead of a copy template file. But you can also select a few templates to get the code for that email. And you'd be able to edit the template I said it was already copied into your theme. We wouldn't recommend it in the templates code directly from here though. If I do edit the template from within WordPress, you just be certain you have backup. So the simplest. And so when I say changes, once you've made your customizations, as mentioned earlier, the remaining emails. At the fields we covered above, people who are disabled, the recipient subject, and so on. Once you've gone through each email cities, you're all set. Feel free to place orders on your store. It should be funds, etc., that test them out. We all signed. Thanks watching for more video sport my Chanel. Subscribe, like, and comment.